Alright, this video really has nothing to do with sound. Nothing at all. But, how many of you take care of your sound equipment? Hopefully, everybody does in some form or another. You keep it clean, you keep it in cases. Well, part of taking care of the sound equipment is also taking care of the whatever your transportation is that you use to transport your equipment to shows. All right, so this is for the uh, cargo van that we use to uh, haul equipment. It's a three-quarter ton. Uh, it has a 1,500-pound working load capacity in it. And uh, we also tow the trailer. And we can tow, I believe it's up to about 5,000 pounds uh, in payload in the trailer. So it's important for us to make sure that the uh, our cargo van um, is equipped correctly to the haul that kind of weight. So we just finished uh, yesterday. We got rid of these shock absorbers and we put in some Bilsteins. This is on the uh, three-quarter ton cargo van. And this is just something real quick to show uh, what the issues were we're having with these. Now these shocks here, here's your fronts, these are the rears, so there's another set of them just like this. The, um, the uh, rear shocks, and this is how we can test them to, to prove that they were bad. Now I'm putting some weight on it, it's not much, not much weight at all. Uh, it, it went down, so it didn't take too much weight, but it is coming back out, which is what we want it to do. But this is very, very slow. The biggest change here we noticed was uh, with the uh, front ones. Uh, the front ones are pretty shot. Uh, check out these front ones here. Not too much weight to push it down. And uh, as you can tell, it is barely coming back out. This shock is probably a 2 out of 10. I gave it a 2 because I could push down on it, but it's not coming back out. The front shocks are fried. Look at that. Absolutely nothing. Uh, you know, these are, these, these are shot. Um, it's probably said this is all OEM stuff. This is probably about normal, but I said the front shocks are absolutely terrible. So anyway, uh, we replaced them with the Bilsteins, which I'll show you. Here are the Bilstein shocks that uh, I installed. And uh, as I said, it probably took about uh, two hours to do all four. Uh, anyway, an initial assessment here of these, uh, they are noticeably, uh, there's a lot better control over the uh, the movement of, of the uh, cargo van with these. Alright, so this really wasn't uh, not intended to be a, a video about shock absorbers on an, for an audio uh, channel on YouTube. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to point out that, um, that in, while you're taking care of your equipment, try to remember to take care of the vehicles that's hauling the equipment. This took me probably about uh, maybe a little over two hours uh, to change. Uh, the front ones were the, were, took the biggest amount of time. Keeping your equipment safe, that does include transportation. Thanks for watching.